Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show 7 solutions to fix connection rejection problems on Bluetooth Mac. So, let's watch the video till the end. The first solution is to make sure your Bluetooth device has enough charge. Are you trying to connect Bluetooth devices like keyboards, mice, speakers, trackpads, and other peripherals? Make sure they have enough charge. A low battery can also cause Bluetooth connection problems. Plug your Bluetooth device into a power outlet and wait until it is charged up to 40%. Then, try to reconnect the Bluetooth device with your Mac. If your Bluetooth device has removable batteries, remove them for at least 25 minutes. Then, put the batteries back and try to connect. You can also try to connect with alternate Macs or desktop systems. If the Apple Magic keyboard and mouse are not connecting via Bluetooth, you can use a USB cable. If the problem persists, follow the second solution, turn off and on Bluetooth. Go to the Apple menu and click on System Settings. Then, select Bluetooth, turn off and on the Bluetooth toggle. Then, click on the Connect button beside the Available Devices list. That's it. If your device shows a connection rejected pop-up, follow the third solution, Forget and Repair Devices. For example, I have a Logitech MX2 mouse here. On Mac, go to the Bluetooth settings from the control center. Click on the I button next to the Bluetooth device. Now, select the Forget This Device option. Your Mac device will show a pop-up that says once you forget the Bluetooth device, it will not reconnect automatically. You will have to connect it again to use it. So, click on the Forget Device option. Now, wait for a few moments. You will see that the Bluetooth device is available under the nearby devices list. Move your cursor beside the connect button and follow the pairing instructions. The Mac will connect it to the Bluetooth device. If the problem remains, follow the fourth solution. Check for device compatibility. Ensure that the device you're trying to connect is Mac compatible and close enough to the Mac. If you're having trouble, try getting closer. Remember that there is typically a range limit of around 10 meters. Also, remove the potential sources of interference such as cordless phones, Wi-Fi routers, and more. Go to the control center and click on Bluetooth. Turn off and on the toggle beside Bluetooth. Then, try to connect. If you're having trouble connecting to Bluetooth devices, follow the fifth solution to reboot the Mac in safe mode. Doing this will help your Mac device fix internal software bugs and repair your disk. For M1 and M2 chip Mac, go to the Apple menu at the top left corner. Then. Click on the shit down option. Confirm the shit down process. You must wait at least 10 seconds to shut down your Mac. To enter safe mode, press and hold the power key until your Mac shows the start up volumes and options on the screen. Select your volume. Do not press the continue button. Press and hold the shift key and then select continue in safe mode. Wait until your Mac shows a lock screen. Now. You can check the safe mode by looking at the safe boot at the top right corner of your Mac. Alternatively, open the spotlight search and type system information. Then, press the return key. Now, click on software from the left side panel. You will see boot mode. Now, try to connect Bluetooth device in safe mode. If the problem is fixed automatically in safe mode, simply restart your Mac to exit safe mode. If none of the previous solutions work, Reset the Bluetooth module. Doing this will restart Bluetooth automatically and help you fix the problem. Press the command space to open the spotlight search on your Mac. Then, type terminal and press return to open. Now, enter the command displayed on the screen video. You can copy the command from the video description and paste it. Once you enter it, press the return key. Your device may show an enter password. Type your Mac device unlock password and press the return key. If this fails, you must follow the seventh solution, delete Bluetooth Plus files. This process will help you by deleting existing Bluetooth Plus files and rebuilding the configuration files for each Bluetooth device on the next restart. Launch the Finder app on your Mac. Then, click on Go in the top menu bar. After that, click on Go to folder. From here, Enter the system configuration path displayed on the screen or copy and paste it from the video description. Then, press the return key. Now, find the Bluetooth Plus files displayed on the screen. 
you can type and find it in the search bar. Create a new folder for storing a backup copy of the Bluetooth file on your Mac desktop. Now, select the Bluetooth Plus file and right-click on the mouse to select the Move to Trash option. Enter your Mac password if required. Then, empty the trash bin. Now, go to the Apple menu and click on Restart. Again, select Restart to confirm. Wait for a few seconds and try to reconnect again. If you still have an issue, Click on the top by card to watch a detailed video on Bluetooth not working because of hardware issues and other software bugs and glitches. I hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel for the latest tips and tricks videos.